Good afternoon. What a couple of days it's been. If you didn't know manager Mike Bassett won the Mr Clutch Cup for Norwich at Wembley on Saturday, then you just couldn't have been in East Anglia. Deep into injury time, you could really see what this trophy meant to Bassett. Hey, hey, look at this, look at this. The final whistle marked a crushing 3-2 victory over Leicester and saw the Canaries crowned champions. Since then, it's been one big Norfolk party. And today, hundreds of fans packed the high street for a ticker tape style reception. This was Mike Bassett's first trophy after three years at the club, and he certainly seemed to be enjoying the carnival atmosphere. However, joy turned to confusion when the driver of the team bus took a wrong turn into the one-way system. You're heading for the dual carriageway! You're going the wrong bloody way! 20 minutes later and the team were still braving the chilly conditions. Hey! You're coming up to the roundabout now! Take a little slip over, head back! After a lengthy detour at the A11, it was back towards the city centre for a repeat performance. Lancaster Gate, the home of English football. Following the team's sudden dip in form, England manager Phil Cope has suffered a near-fatal heart attack. With only three World Cup qualifying games remaining, the board must now find a replacement. Over the next year, our cameras will have unprecedented access to the new manager. The hopes, dreams and aspirations of the nation are about to be placed on the shoulders of one man, as he attempts to take England to the World Cup Finals in Brazil. Gentlemen, I'm sure you'll join me in sending our best wishes to Phil Cope, his wife Diane, and his two children, Lisa and Tom. Tim. Uh, Tim. In the meantime, we need to find a new manager to take us into the World Cup. Now, I've phoned around Italy, France and Spain, but no one wants the job. So you know where we're going to have to start looking? Scandinavia? England. Oh, Christ. So, fellas, any bright ideas? First choice has got to be Ali McTavish, isn't it? You know, he's won the Premiership five times, cup three times, Champions League twice. And the only problem is he's Scottish. Mm -hmm. What about young Jackson over at Liverpool? Well, no question's a great talent. Captain England 50 times. Won European football of the year twice. Worked wonders on Merseyside. Well, he is a bit uh, mouthy. Big head. Yeah. yeah. I always rather liked uh, Thinney at Villa. Well, we've had a word with him, but he says he's a bit busy at the moment. Maybe next time. Maybe. Martin Hans, Leeds. Not interested. Archer, over at Sunderland. He do a good job. Well, he's in prison. Listing goods with menace. But he was at the Everton game last week. All I know is what his wife's told me. So. That accounts for every English manager in the Premiership. Oh, come on, I mean, there's got to be somebody out there that wants the job, isn't it? Rumours are circulating in the national press that Norwich manager Mike Bassett is in line for the England job. To appoint a manager from the lower leagues would be seen as an unprecedented move. Is it true you're the New England manager, Mike? If I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times, lad. I'm the manager of Norwich. My future's here in Norfolk, so forget the rumours and the tittle tattle, OK? Anything else? Dad, you've got the England job. Come on. The England job. I first met Mike back in 1975, when he was with Crew Alexandra. And he was on loan from Doncaster at the time, so I remember thinking they might ask for him back, but luckily Doncaster told Crew they could keep him. And then, about a year later, he got a free transfer to Plymouth. From there he went on to Hull, uh, Grimsby and Darlington. He played for 14 clubs in nine different positions, including goalie. 
So once again, the ball pumped long there. It's a back pass here to Mike Bassett. Do you know he's missed it? It's gone in! What a howler! And then finally, he got his big break. The assistant manager's job at Colchester United. And what was it that attracted you to him? The glamour. He's on the books at Norwich under-14s. He's got a lot of talent. He just needs to up his work rate. But what's it like having a dad who is the England manager? It's brilliant. With his bags fully packed, Mike Bassett travels down to London for his first day in the new job. Our sound man's just going to put the, the mic on. I, I thought we'd, um, we'd just talk a little bit about your appointment. Mike Bassett, you're the, the New England manager, but for some people, you're something of a, of a controversial choice. Well, some people ask the question, Mike Bassett, how did he get the job? And other people ask the question, Mike Bassett, who is he? I've never heard of him. And I've, I've got to answer them people, and I've only got three games to do it in. In your book, what is it that makes a successful manager? Well, there's, there's three things. A, you've got to pick the best players. B, you've got to motivate them. And C, you've got to use the right tactics. And D, which is probably most important of all, you've got to get some luck. Really? So, so luck is, is that important? Yeah. The ball hits the post and goes one way, you're a winner. It goes the other way. Tickets, please. All right, Mike. Hello, Tony. Oh, thanks very much. Thank you. Well done with the, uh, the England job. Oh, thanks, lad. <coughs> Tony Puller used to be the assistant manager in Coventry. Tickets, please. Mike's a man of principle. He has a simple set of beliefs and he sticks to them. He's a big fan of Kipling, the poet, not the cape man. You see, his dad gave him an embroidered poem when he was a kid and he always keeps it close by. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a mason. Unfortunately, that's an embroidery error. Hi, Mike. I'm Margaret, your PA. Oh, hello. Let me show you it. I've got a big responsibility. For a lot of people, the England team is more important than their work, more important than their marriage, more important than the telly. When we win, take a look out of your window. People are going to work with smiles on their faces. They're, they're talking to each other at the bus stop, in the pub, on the bus itself. Football touches many people's lives, and it makes a difference, a big difference. Ah, Mr. Lightfoot. Sir Ted would have looked at a breezy to himself and chooses his dialysis day. Come on in. We've got three games over the next few months, beginning with the Polish match in two weeks' time. You'll be able to choose your own assistant manager and coach. Ooh. You'll also get a company car, plus free petrol, so long as you keep your receipts. Yeah. The no-monkey business. Apparently that Venables was chucking down his trips to and from the supermarket. You're right. I want you to know, Mike, I'm always here for you. And if I'm not around, just slip a note under the door. This way, Mike. This must be a very proud moment for you. It is. I just wish my dad could see me now. You know, he was, he was like a father figure to me. Well, obviously, but uh, he was also a professional footballer himself, wasn't he? Oh, yes, he was a great footballer. He played for Preston North End for just on 20 years. Never in more than 10 bob a week. What do you think your dad would say if he could see you now? What would he say? I don't know, we'd probably quote Kipling, you know, something like, walk with kings, but never lose the common touch. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce the New England manager, Mike Bassett. <laughs> By the way, Steve. International football is a big step up from the first division, Mike. To many, you may seem underqualified. Is that fair? No, no.